we're going to make the most gorgeous comfort food dish that's quick, easy, and is going to rock your world. I'm talking moist, juicy meatballs with melted cheese in a show-stopping chunky gravy loaded into a soft, fluffy sub for optimum sauce dunkage. This can't help but make you happy. So, how do we start this lovely story? With the best meat ever. Just because it's minced meat doesn't mean it can't be the best. We've got an amazing shoulder of pork minced here. Ask your butcher to get a chunk of pork shoulder and mince it for you there and then. It will be spectacular. Then grass-fed beef, like a brisket or a chuck. We've got a kilo of that in total, 50-50. Now, I've got a little secret. I don't want dry balls, OK? You want juicy balls. Uh, and to do that, potato. A grated potato is a fantastic tip, which is going to keep it light and moist. And then we're going to get in there with our hands and just give it a good old mix-up. I'm not going to add anything else. Now, that blend of beef and pork is a really clever blend because the pork really lightens the beef and the beef gives it a real kind of base of flavour. Roll into squash ball-sized portions, leaving the meat of about three balls to use later. Give them a little drizzle of olive oil some seasoning of salt and pepper, and that's it. Very simple. They go into a preheated hot oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Next, some supercharged gravy, starting with that remaining pork and beef mince, and a splash of olive oil on a high heat. We're going to fry this off and break it up, and we're going to make an incredible gravy. As the mince browns, chop up one bulb of fennel. It's a delicious, big, bold flavour that's going to link in with the pork and the meatballs beautifully. And see all these little sticky bits? See that on the bottom of the pan? This is what we're encouraging. They call it a dirty gravy in America because it's kind of like, it's rough and ready. This is gravy on turbo. Add two finely chopped red onions, and once softened, add a heaped tablespoon of flour for thickening. That will soak up all the natural residual fats in the pan. Now, if you look on the bottom of this pan, see if I really scrape it, that's your flavour there. So we're going to break this kind of frying with moisture, but not any old moisture, right? We're going to use porter beer, OK? It's smooth, it's delicious, and it'll start cleaning the bottom of the pan. This is incredible flavour happening right now. Once that malted dark beer is all cooked in, it's time for some beautifully British punches of flavour. English mustard, number one. Then a tablespoon of ketchup, brown sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Finally, a dollop of mango chutney. And then one litre of chicken stock. Bring it to the boil and simply wait for the magic to happen. It's just going to become one gorgeous chunky gravy. Reduce to a simmer for 20 minutes and then it's time to get those balls out. And then we simply pour this gravy over the top. Yeah! Woohoo! This is going to be beautiful. To add the most incredible perfume and flavour, add a few whole sprigs of rosemary. And finally, sprinkle over 100 grams of red Leicester, the perfect melting cheese. Then simply grab a nice warmed up roll, bap, or sub. This is game changing. And then just take a wodge of watercress and then get in there. The whole point of this is you're dipping it in the sauce. These balls can get mighty messy, so safety first. This is not a time to be prim or proper. If you like the things in life that make you very happy, then this is the way to go. Mm. Unbelievable.